Hi, this is Dane Shoemaker with the Shoemaker Films Podcast. I'm here with Allie and Mary Catherine with Lesson the Loads. How are you guys doing? Good. How are awesome. you? Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for uh, being a guest on here. i um, excited to learn a little bit more about your business. Um, I feel like I reached out, I don't know, months ago now. We had to keep rescheduling with the summer and everything, but i um, glad we got this on the books. So. Yeah, we're, we're super sick. Yeah. Yeah. So Lesson the Loads, love the name. Thank uh, you. I feel like there's kind of like a dual... You know, that's Dual pur- purposeful, right? Right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your, your service and your business? Okay. Um, I guess I'll start. Um, so Lesson Loads is basically a laundry and organizational service. Um, it started out of, you know, a need we recognized in, in the market, kind of a, a gap in the market. Um, and we can talk about that a little bit later. But sure. um, basically, you know, we hire local moms in our area of service and they pick up your laundry, bring it to their home, do the wash in in their home and then turn it around, fold it and bring it back, um, within 24 hours. Um, so basically, you know, that's our bread and butter is that we have, you know, the pickup laundry service. Um, but we also have a lot of organizational services available as well. So, you know, anything from, if you need your pantry organized to your garage organized, we can help you. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how that kind of goes hand in hand. For sure. Nice. And how long have you guys been uh, been in business? It's going on. It's two it'll, and a half years. Yeah, I was just thinking. I'm like, I think it'll be three years in March. Yeah, it'll be three yeah. years next March. Okay. And you two are the owners. We are. Uh, just fifty fifty split, or yes. Yep. We don't have to get into those details, but yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll tell you it's happening. <laughs> that's awesome. We were that's high like, school friends, so that's kind of friends. you know. Okay. Yep. We always say always friends first. Yeah. Nice. Did you grow up in this area? Did you go to high school around here? Or? We yep. did. We went to St. Pius in Pottstown. So okay. um, this is where we currently are still live. Um, but a lot of our clients are obviously on the main line, Delaware County, Montgomery County, Bucks County. We service sure. all of those counties. Um, and so we spend a lot of time down there. Okay. Nice. Um, so tell me a little bit about more about your business. So you have, um, you have kind of a network of, are they contractors or are they yep. employees? Yeah. Yeah, So we hire all contractors. And the reason that we've kind of gone this route in this business model is because most of the contractors that we hire are moms and are stay at home moms. And they're looking for a way to bring income into their family, but don't necessarily want a nine to five. That can be hard with young children, right? A husband who maybe travels or has a a busy job. Um, So we really pride ourselves on providing a flexible income opportunity, a good flexible income opportunity for them to bring something into their household, but really to be able to maintain a schedule that's conducive to having a young family and and children. Yeah. So we hire all moms um, in the counties that we serve and that's also why um i I think we've been so successful is in in that model because they love to work yeah (laughs) and love laundry i mean it seems for somebody who's a stay-at-home mom or anybody who who doesn't you know doesn't want to have a full-time job it seems like a pretty yeah flexible you know you Mm -hmm. and we we, i'm sorry to interrupt you but we also have folks that they do have full-time jobs yeah, and they're doing sure. this as a, you know, yep. a side gig or, you know, yeah. something to just bring in a little bit of extra income. So yeah. um, it really, it's, it's wonderful because you, we're able to provide, you know, opportunities that otherwise they may not have been able to have. Yeah. And I was going to say like, it is really hard to find flexible, legit work these days. Yeah. You know, a lot of the, I, I feel like a lot of the things that you find on Facebook are either like scams or you need to like bust your butt for, you know, like really hard. And, um, that's just like not the case here. It's, yeah. it's a legitimate job and, um, super you can, flexible. You can yeah. pick your hours, pick your jobs that you want. So. You can take on as much as you want or as, yeah, I was going to say we want. have, you know, we have teammates who work maybe two to three jobs a week. And then we have ones that are working, you know, 10 jobs a week. Um, right, so right. it all depends, depends on their months. schedule and what they want. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Um, is there like a typical, like if I'm a contractor signing up to work with you guys, like how many hours a week, roughly how many loads, like, is there an average or is it minimum, you know? So it's, it's, it's so hard. Yeah. We get, we get, we get this question all the time and it's so hard because we have so many different scenarios, so many many different contractors. They all make it work with their schedules. Like again, like we could have somebody doing 300 pounds of laundry a week and then maybe we have somebody who's doing 50. Okay. Right. 
And so do you like pay by the pound or how does we that, do yeah. for pickup drop off? We pay by yeah. the pound. And then for our in-home services, we obviously pay by the hour. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. makes it a little complicated. Yeah. It, it also, you know, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I have no idea what I was going to no, say. No, I was going to say, I think it also like sets our business apart. And like, that's kind of the difference between us and other laundry services, right? Okay. There's other, obviously national laundry services okay. that are competitors in this area, but none that also offer those in-home services. And, right. and that's where we also found the gap in the market Okay, is right. Like there are other pickup drop off laundry services, but there aren't other laundry services that will also come in and reorganize your drawers, set it all up and then continue with that same method, mm -hmm. right? So you don't have to do any of that. It's all great that you are that you have a pickup drop-off laundry service, but what if that's not how you fold your stuff? Right, right. It doesn't work. Then what, you have to refold your stuff? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because some people are kind of, very kind of like specific. The, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, like oh yeah. And these are things we didn't think about in the beginning, and then we quickly learned them real fast, yeah. is like, we have to go in and basically organize for you before, you know, we yeah. can do your weekly service. Yeah. Um, we suggest that to anybody who starts our service, whether you're doing pickup drop off or our in-home services, it's really beneficial if we come in, reorganize your stuff, and then it you can maintain from there with our maintenance services. So what, what areas like geographically do you cover? Is it? So right now we are in mainly South, East Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, Berks, Bucks, Montgomery, Chester, Delco. Um, and then we also are in a small portion of New Jersey in North Jersey, like okay. Morris County. Yeah. Um, so we, we slowly are expanding out into New Jersey. Um, but yeah, we started, you know, in like this Pottstown, Boyertown area and then have then, you know, expanded out Yeah. that way. I mean, I can see it being pretty like scalable. Like it's basically just it's marketing, and as long as there's people there to fold and clean la it's do a, laundry, it's a, like, it's a fine line though. It's, yeah. a, it's a balancing act because yeah. you, we want to make sure that we have enough team members to perform the job, but we also don't want our team members coming on board and not having enough work. Yeah. So it's constant. You know, we hire some people, and then we're marketing like crazy in that area, or vice versa. We're marketing in that area to make sure that we have jobs, and then we're bringing people on board quickly. Got um, it. So it's a constant, <laughs> constant balancing act. I was gonna say we definitely are really cognizant about not over hiring so that the individuals on our team can make the amount of money that they want to make, right? Yeah. Like I don't want to oversaturate a market where there's 15 contractors there and then they're only getting like one or two jobs a week, each of them, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so we're really thoughtful about that. And I think that also sets apart our business. Obviously we're locally owned. We care about the people on our team, right? And I think that goes really far. Yeah. I think they feel that if you were to ask I think them. So, for sure, um, yeah that we do truly care about them and want them to get what they need from this business too. Right. Okay. And we try and check in with them on a regular basis. You know, I mean, we're, we're constantly, you know, talking to them all day, every day, you know, with different issues that are happening or, you know, just, Hey, so-and-so needs their laundry later this day, you know? Yeah. But in addition to that, we are also making sure, you know, we're checking in and saying, you know, how's your, how's your workload? Do you feel like it's enough? Do you want some more? Do you want less? You know, we're going into the holidays. What does that look like for you? We're going into the summer. What does that look like for you? Do you need some time off? Right. Like, we're so. always trying to like check in and make sure that they're, you know, in a good, you know, headspace as well. So, I mean, let's talk about like more on the customer side, Sure. you know, so I can see how this service would really benefit working families. Maybe you have uh, two, two, Parents who are working, they don't have time to do that. Like, do you have like an ideal client? Yes, um, that's that you it. Go after? That's okay. what you just said. Okay. Working families with young children who value their time more than doing laundry. Sure. Right. Like for most people, and I'm speaking for myself as well, I don't enjoy doing laundry. It's like a dreaded chore for me. Yeah. And I don't have the capacity to do it either. So like those two things combined is the perfect, so, you know, it's the perfect solution to outsource that task. Yeah. Laundry is the most time consuming household chore out there. Cause it's not like, I always say you can go and scrub a toilet real quick, right? You could probably do it in five minutes. You can't do your entire laundry process in five minutes, no. right? Like you got to collect it. You take it down. You got to put it in the washer. You got to wait for the wash and you got to transfer it's a lot it to of the dryer. And, and then you got to fold and put it away. I mean, there's all those laundry memes out there for a reason, like <laughs> about like true. the process <laughs> yeah. because it, it's so time consuming. So our ideal client and, and most of our clients 
are young families, working professionals, right, usually, and they have young kids to a degree. Now, I will say we also... We've gotten into different markets recently by just you know, by word of mouth and folks hearing about us and they are saying, Oh, we need your service. The elderly for one, you know, they Mm. come up in age, whether they're living by themselves or they just can't necessarily get down to the basement to go do their laundry now, or it's too heavy for them or, you know, all these different reasons. Um, we have, I'm trying to think of like other, um, other clients that we've had recently that we were like, oh, that's a market we didn't even think about. Well, I was going to say like we, this is just like an unusual market, but we do um, the football jerseys for a a local high school. So after every game, right. Instead of um, sending jerseys and pants, instead of like sending them out. um, Which I didn't even know was a thing. Apparently, you know, high schools send out their jerseys to get cleaned and then they send them back to the the school. This is our third year doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Anyways, that's great. There's a lot of them, like things. I got them hanging out back right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, lots of different, you know, you don't realize obviously everyone needs their laundry done. Right? Yeah, we so, always say like you you obviously need clothes. Right. Clean clothes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. it's yeah, uh, constant. It's mm-hmm. a necessity. And especially if you have a big family or small kids. Mm-hmm. College or both. students, that's College another one. Students, yeah. You know, that's that's another market that we've kind of tapped into mm-hmm. as well like working directly with the college on that or we are working to get into colleges. We haven't like actively, you know, gotten it, but it's just been, you know, word of mouth. Oh, my son or daughter is here. Like, could you pick up at their, their school or, um, you know, they're coming home for the summer. They have a ton of laundry that they're bringing with them, you know, that type of thing. We don't have time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can think for, you know, for myself, like I have a lot of things around the house, like mowing the lawn. Those are some, that's like, well, I've outsourced that to somebody mm-hmm. now. I like doing yard work and there's plenty of other stuff, picking up sticks and things to, to get that, scratch that itch a little bit. But like <laughs> mowing a lawn, I think is like easy enough for someone else to do that you can kind of outsource that. For yeah. sure. Um, we also have a cleaning person, right? Yep. And um, I will say that my, my wife does spend a lot of time every week doing laundry, right? So, mm-hmm. I so mean, you're the ideal client. <laughs> probably, yeah. Um, are there some people that are kind of, you know, apprehensive to hand off, you know, the laundry services. I mean, I think in a way she kind of likes it a little bit because it's like kind of a does mindless. She want a job? I don't know. I don't but know. She but, also has like, yeah. the control as well. Yeah. Right? She can put on a podcast or put on a show, you know, yeah. kind of no one bothers her for like an hour or two. You know, so, <laughs> so I will say yeah. personally, so Allie, the, the whole reason this business started was because Allie had her third baby. And I can let you talk about this, but basically she felt guilty for holding her baby and not doing her laundry. And Mm. that's how this kind of all started. But long story short is that I'm the friend that likes to do laundry. Okay. And so she used our service from day one, right? Like her, she brought our team to her house. They do her laundry in and out from day one. I probably, it took me probably like a year to like actually let our team do my laundry. Not because I don't think I was afraid, but just because I enjoyed doing it. I liked knowing yeah. that like, you know, my laundry was done a specific, like I, I want my whites, like OxyClean and my whites, all that stuff. Yeah. We have all those options. Which we do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We do. Well, now we've, you know, yep. got all that on our list of things, but that's, that's what I'm saying is that people might be apprehensive, but once they, you know, talk to us and we answer all their questions or they go to the website and they check out all these options that we have, you know, we can make sure that we're washing your whites with OxyClean. We can, we are always, we can stain treat. We're always only ever drying on low. We're never drying on high. So like, you don't have to worry about anything like shrinking. We'll hang Um, dry. If you have certain items like you that can't go in the dryer, basically we can completely tailor the laundry process to like what you would do at home anyways. Yeah. Um, And now I'm obsessed and I would never would go back (laughs) ever, ever like (laughs) never in a million years. I can't ever imagine doing my laundry ever again. (laughs) It's crazy. And it sounds so ridiculous. No, it really does. But like, and I don't even have children. It's just myself and my fiance. Like, but listen, it's huge. It's so huge. Once you do it, you never go back. It's life changing. No, I can, I can believe it. Yeah. Cause I mean, for, you know, busy, like any, any business, any, anyone, right. A business owner or, a working, you know, working nine to five, like right. there's only a few hours in the day, mm-hmm. you know, that you get to spend time with your kids, 
if the kids have like sports and school homework. Oh my gosh. I like, mean, I think about my household, we're running ragged yeah. every single day from thing yeah. to thing. Like to not think about laundry is huge. I also have a cleaning service. Our service, our laundry service goes great with a cleaning service because mm-hmm. a lot of cleaning services won't do laundry, right? Maybe they'll throw it in, but they're not, you know, doing, doing the, whole, the process. whole thing. Yeah. Um, most of our clients also have cleaners too. Okay. Yeah. Like they, they hire a cleaning service. They hire well. a cleaning service. They've already right. recognized, okay, this is hours back in my week, you know. Well, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. I think once you outsource one thing, you realize the benefit of having all the, that time back. And yeah. you're like, what else uh-huh. can I outsource? And yeah. Like for myself, time is probably the most valuable thing. Whatever I can, yeah. Like whatever I can outsource, I'm doing it because I, I just need all the time I can get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially with young kids, right? I mean, yeah, you only get you it's know, so a couple hard years with them general. before they're right, yeah. exactly before they're out of the house and they don't even care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's I love the business model. I, you know, it seems like such a needed service. Um, can you explain? You know, how does like onboarding work? If I'm somebody, like, do I go to your website and fill out a form? What does that process look like mm-hmm. for a customer? Yeah. For a customer, so right, you can find us. Well, you can find us on all different platforms, right? We're on all the socials, and yeah. But also, our website is kind of our main main point of contact. Okay. Um, you would go on contact us page. There's a link you'd click, and basically, it would just take all of your information. You know, your name, where you lo- where you're located. Um, basically, you know what service you're looking for. So we have a number of different services. Obviously, we're talking about our pickup drop off pick up drop off service, which is our main yeah. kind of service that we offer. But, you know, we do just folding as well. Like if you can get your laundry washed and dried and you just hate folding it and putting it away, we'll do that too. Yeah. Um, so basically, you know, everything's laid out there, pricing, all of you that. You click the one you want. You click on that. And then your okay. preferences, you you can fill out all of your preferences. Do you want us to stain treat? Um, do you want us to add OxyClean to your whites? Like those types of things. Anything right. else that you would like to note, you know, um, I'm going to pre-sort my items, yeah. you know, I'm going to send them as is. Can you return them as is? Um, sure. Yeah. So we can. And, and then, then at the end of that, you pick your day and time and submit. And then you'll go. hear from uh, our admin, Megan, um, within probably the day. Yeah. Um, we try to get back no later than the Usually day. Usually it's, it's like within the hour yeah. that you'll get a confirmation, like confirming your appointment, which we send via text. Nice. Yep. Okay. So it can be all done online yeah. from our website. Yeah, that's great. Um, do you, and then in terms of like the contractor, you know, when, do you get people reaching out to you say, Hey, I want to work for you or are you kind mm-hmm. of qualifying, you know, we're definitely qualifying. Yeah. Like we're not just taking any yeah. Joe Schmo Is there a certification the of like, yeah, they actually have, certific- they yeah. do. Let's they hear have about to. this. Yeah. Tell we, me about we're this. We're pretty yeah. particular, yeah. which I think people think we're like crazy. <laughs> I feel nuts about like, I feel like, when, kind of psychotic when we first about talk it. to them, we do kind of sound crazy. And then I think they get on board and they realize, oh, wow, like this is, you know, this is what the clients are paying for. They're paying for that aesthetic. Yeah. So we do yeah. need to get it right. Um, and yeah, like absolutely. we deliver things back ready for your drawers. Like there's no You can sorting, literally lift it like, up and plop it in the drawer. Yeah. Yeah. So we are a little neurotic. A little bit. But I, I think, think people appreciate all that. good business people are a little neurotic, yeah, right? Of yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the you asked about that process, right? So they will apply. Um, we have an application link on our website. Um, we have folks apply, whether you're in PA or Jersey, you can apply. And I mean, we get applications every day. Yeah. Every so, day. Sometimes we're reaching really? out and saying, every day. you know, can wow. you, you know, we have specific areas that we're looking, we have a high need for it that we need in that, that specific area. But yeah, for the most part, we are getting applications like left and right. Um, so once they submit their application, we'll review the application and then we'll, you know, contact them and say, you know, we're interested in interviewing you. We bring them on for, you know, half hour interview, um, via zoom. Um, they're given a lot of information prior to that interview to let them understand what, you know, this job entails, um, you know, what the pay rate is, what the, um, what the expectations are, et cetera, et cetera. And then from there, you know, if we think they're a fit, we'll say, okay, next steps are, we're going to send you this one pager. It has the link to our training videos. You're going to watch the training videos. You're going to go to your drawers and then you're going to turn back around and send us pictures of your newly folded drawers, the way that these videos are showing you how to do it. Right. Right. And then from there, we'll get back to them and say, Hey, you know, we think you could 
crisp this up a little bit or, you know, if they obviously or like good enough, like, good, right. You know, like, what I mean? sure. we're going to move you forward. Okay. Um, and for the most part, I mean, it's not rocket science to, to fold, but it does yeah. take a little bit of time to like get, I can't figure it out. So yeah, it's definitely, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but then, then they, you know, they get through that process and okay. then we put them into like our onboarding program and our onboarding program is also a little bit, I think, intense for a laundry job. Um, yeah. I think people think, Oh, I was just signing up to like do laundry, but no, it, there's, there's, there's a little like, bit of a standard here. Yes. Good. good. Um, so then that last part of that process is basically them jumping on a phone call with our, um, onboarding coordinator, Britt, who basically teaches them the systems that we use, you know, like the app, like, you know, how to, Okay. Like, and, like all, all like the like nitty, nitty gritty. gritty. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, like we make sure they're a hundred percent comfortable, confident, ready to go and to take on jobs Yeah. before they, yeah. before we're just like, okay, go and do somebody's laundry. Like right. we are really, we're making sure they have the supplies on hand that they need. Um, we're making sure they know how to use the systems and you know, that type of thing. And, you know, making sure they're just, they're comfortable. And then we send them in to a home with another tenured teammate as like a last final. Okay. Your folding's yeah. good and everything, but like go meet one of our teammates, go into a client's home, get the feel for like, how does that feel? Practice your folding, get feedback from a teammate who's crushing it. Yeah. And then after then that, you're they're good to go. Then they can fly. They've got their wings. It sounds so extensive. It does. Or a, it really it does. Really. It sounds like you're applying to like Google and I... <laughs> I promise you're not, but I mean, it, we it, do have a standard. You have systems in place, and I, I'm really impressed. Like, not that I like didn't expect that, but like Nobody the took, fact that you it have like an app, Nobody, there, right? like, yeah, I mean, it didn't just happen in the beginning. Yeah. We were just willy nilly saying, "Okay, you seem like a nice person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna bring you on board." Granted, we do background checks and everything. We're not sending anybody into a home without everybody a has check. to have their clearances, auto yeah. insurance. They need, you know, even if they're doing pickup drop off, they have to have their clearances. Like, say, say. Say they're like, I can't do in-home services, in-client home services. I can only do pickup drop-off. They still have to have their clearances. Like we're yeah. really making adamant sure. about that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. we but run a tight ship. Peace of, peace of mind. Yeah, I mean, that's but it all I mean, families want that, right? Like, of course, yeah, yeah. And like some of the, not to talk about a competitor, but some of the other laundry services, right? You just go on the app, you apply, you get approved. There's no kind of like fact checking, like or vetting or anything like that. Sure. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, so you were talking about a little just kind of step back to, you know, when you guys move into like a new area or like you have a, you do some marketing and then you have a contractor or you get someone hired and then you do some more marketing around that. What kind of marketing are you doing in the area? You know, Facebook, uh, Facebook. Yeah. That is our, are you running ads? And, no, no. We've never Mom run groups. Ads. Okay. Mom groups. Mom groups. Okay, tell me about that. That's interesting. This is all how it started. I'm going to let Allie talk about this because this is how we knew we had something here. This was our market research before we knew it was our market research. Okay. Yeah, so I had posted, well, because I suck at laundry <laughs> despite owning a laundry business, but like originally, right? Like I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. I had my third baby going back to work full time. I need to outsource everything. Yeah. And laundry was one of those things that cleaning services didn't do. So I posted in a, my local mom's group and I said, hey, who is looking for like an extra three hours a week? That's what I estimated. I thought my laundry would take. Who's looking for an extra three hours a week? I'm willing to pay. Who can just come over and help fold and put away my laundry? Yeah. I will wash it ahead of time. I just need you to fold it and put it away in my drawers. I had so many comments on that post. One saying... I want to do it. Like I'm looking for side work. I can give you through, I'm a stay at home mom. I can give you three hours every single week. But then on the other, on the other a hundred comments of that post was, I want this service too. Let me know who you hire. Who, you know, I want that same person. Wow. So I was like, hold up. So then I, I hired somebody from that post. She changed my life. She came in Marie kondo all my drawers, closets, every <laughs> Like it was, I'm telling you, it was life changing. And then she came every week for three hours to just fold and put away my laundry. Game changer for me. I felt like immediately better. So I was talking to MC and I was like, there is something here. Like this yeah. just changed my life so drastically. 
and look at this post of all of these moms who want to work. And then look, there's all the clients sitting right there. Boom, right like, there. Yeah. It's, wow. What are we doing? Yeah. And so she was like, let's give it a shot. I was like, what okay, do we got to lose? Here that's we how go. Lesson in the Lows is born. Yeah. yeah. Literally. And then the rest is history. We quickly took off from yeah. there because, I mean, I we obviously, like, from that post, like, we knew. There's awesome. there's a market here. Yeah. 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 Now, the people that are doing the laundry, the contractors, are they at all going out and selling a little bit or recruiting or no? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's strictly, so back to the, you know, I think your original question was, where are you marketing? It is all mom's groups that we use. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's, and we're not paying for anything. Yeah. Like, I mean, granted now, you know, we do different, you know. I was going to say there's like a few bigger groups, like mainline parent community where it's like a membership to be able to post in their group. Yeah. Um, but th- that has paid off tenfold. Yeah. So like there's a few groups like mom groups or parent community groups like that that we do pay for, but the majority we don't and we just post our once or twice a week, whatever they allow, or maybe it's like once a month. Mm-hmm. And that honestly is how we grew our business originally. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, and we have- still it, growing from those. Yep. And also a lot of it is word of mouth now from our other clients. Right. We have so many clients because of other clients now, right? And that kind of just spirals yeah. from there. And yeah. I would say that's, you know, our team as well. I think word of mouth, our team is, whether or not we say they're marketing or not, you know, they're talking about the job that they have and the, yeah. the service they perform. So I think, yeah, word of mouth for sure. We have another. gained so many also teammates from current teammates. So like we have oh, a nice. pair of sisters on our team two pairs of sisters on our team. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? And like friends of friends, it, it has, yeah. which are, end up being the best um, teammates too. Yeah. Busy people hang out with busy people t- typically, yeah. you know, and yeah, usually, you know, yeah, friend groups and colleagues and peers, uh, you know, yeah, I can see how that, you know, just kind of grows organically like that. Yep. Really it well. definitely does. That's literally yeah. how it happened. Do you guys own any trucks or lawn, you know, laundromat? I mean, is that nope. any of that stuff like in the future or <laughs> might be, might be yeah. the, the laundry. Okay. I'm not going to, well, I'm not allowed to okay. say. All right. The, I would say laundromat esque is, is something that we have been thinking about Okay. just mainly, you know, it would be great if our team could just have a base to drop in and do larger orders and, and such like that. Yeah. Um, if they wanted to. Right. And like as mm-hmm. an additional option. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. right now, no, we don't have trucks. We don't have, you know, any other areas aside from our own homes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm getting a second hookup in my house, but that's about it. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a pretty low, like overhead. I mean, it's not oh, like, for sure. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty great business yeah. model. I got to give you kudos to that. Mm-hmm. Um, so anything like anything that we haven't covered or anything you want to wanna talk about? I mean, we could talk forever, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I mean, what's, what's one of the biggest challenges that you think you've run into just from running? That's, that's a, a good business? question. We, we did briefly talk about this recently and because our business model is so unique in terms of hiring contractors that are doing work in their home, but then also we have services where they're going into a client's home and we have like the reorganization piece too, or the organization piece too. It's been really difficult to find back end systems that support the complexity of what we're doing, right? Like our pickup drop off services are by the pound, our in home services are hourly, our reorganizations are something else. And then to have a system that can support con 50 contractors assigned to certain jobs at different pay rates and like it's a nightmare to be quite honest yeah so you're talking about like a like a software yeah crm like an app of some sort and like everybody's like oh we'll just use like the softwares that laundromats do who do like curbside laundry and stuff well we vetted so many of them we've been on so many calls we've done it just like doesn't work with our business model Mm-hmm. Um, it's frustrating. And like not having like a base or a laundromat to kind of run it out of, um, which I don't think we'll, uh, we would ever go that route entirely anyways, because, you know, g- allowing them, our team to have the flexibility and to be able to do the, the job from home is, is what is bringing them and keeping 
amazing teammates with us. For sure. So anyways, all that to say is the systems thing and figuring that out for the last two and a half years has been nothing short of a nightmare, but here we are. Right now we have an amazing (laughs) tech, we call her our tech guru, um, Alyssa on our team, who has done phenomenal in terms of, you know, providing us with kind of shortcuts and helping us integrate systems to speak with one another. Um, But it definitely took a while for us to get there and it's, it's not perfect by any means. Yeah. Um, it's still a struggle on the regular. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're hoping one day we're making our own app and having our own system. Sure. But until then, that's definitely where yeah. we're headed, but until then, yeah, I mean, that's part of the part of running a business, right. Is just figuring out all the kinks. Yeah. And figuring out how to optimize everything and building processes and for yep. me, I feel like that's like one of the best funnest parts or that's really where a lot of the challenges come from is like, Hey, how can I, you know, cause we're a service-based business. We provide, we make videos, yeah. videos mm-hmm. are very subjective and creative, but how do we kind of systemize it? Like how we create it, how we come up with the ideas, yeah, all sure. that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I think about like where we started and like what we were using then and what we are using now. And I'm, it's amazing how much we've grown and like the things we've been able to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Who's this guy? That's Duke. That's Duke? Duke? Oh my gosh. Our mascot, I guess. Yeah, our mascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, well this is this has been really great. Yeah, I mean Thank anything, you so much for uh, having us. Yeah, yeah of course. It. Yeah. Um anything, you know, coming out in the future you wanna talk about or anything you guys wanna We do have or? a new website that is launching okay. yes. hopefully on Monday. Um, oh nice, okay. Which That's... will be awesome. We're very excited about that. Yep, that was like a long time coming. Other things coming down the pike. Um, I mean, we we didn't talk about our newest service, which is our Last Mess Express, which yeah. we maybe can kind of highlight right now. Yeah, because um, this is also perfect for you know our target audience. Um, and going into the school year, it's kind of prime um, to use this service. But basically, it is it is I would say the f- say it again and then talk okay about it. less yeah. less mess express. Okay. So we call it our um, LME for short, but basically it's an hour service where we will come into your home and basically tidy up for you after say a crazy morning with children, getting them out the door. Um, we'll come in, we'll make sure, you know, whatever spaces are the most important to you, you'll let us know, right? You'll fill out a checklist and say, this is the areas that I want you to focus on. We'll come in and we'll tidy up that space. So whether it's, you want the kitchen cleaned up, you want, you know, the dishes put away from the dishwasher, the dishes out of the sink, wipe the counters down. Um, We'll make sure, you know, your toilet paper roll is refreshed um, if the like, kids use the last of it or like all the toys picked up off the floor. Yeah. The All the little things that you are leaving the house in the morning thinking, I wish I could just like make it look nice. So I come in and my house doesn't feel like a bomb went off. Yeah. That's what Less Mess Express is. It's like a reset, right? Right. Like it's it's all of the things that our laundry service doesn't do and that a cleaning service typically doesn't have time to get to yeah like in terms of like a lot of people say like i have to clean for my cleaning service right like you have to like pick up the toys (laughs) and put everything away yeah this service also would be perfect like right before right before you're cleaning or like the day before yeah yeah it's really really it's like a home reset so you're walking back in your door everything's put away it looks like yeah nobody was here no that's that's genius because like we actually have a cleaning person at our house right now I, Mm -hmm. i think they're here um they're supposed to come at some point today, but it's always like usually on a Thursday. A and, scramble. Yeah, and so it's Wednesday night. It's like, yeah. Jesus Christ! So yeah, you, you got your cleaner. You got your hot zones. You got your kitchen, <laughs> yeah. and then we have our basement that's just like an absolute disaster, right? Of toys and stuff, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can see how that's like an hour. You know, it's like an hour get in. power hour where you yeah. just come in okay. and make sure. Because you, you say know. too, Genius. like if you yeah. need more than an hour. You don't need... It's not then like a reset, right? right. Like yeah. unless you have a really large home, which we have right. a few clients who are their homes are, are larger than usual and maybe theirs is like two hours, right? But if you need more than an hour, then we're like cleaning and we're not a cleaning service. Yeah. This is just like a tidy service to get you feeling like you can walk back in the home and not want to... Yeah. Leave again. Not want to turn back right back around. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I often walk in my house and want to turn right back around. 
That's great. No, that's, a, that's, yeah. that's genius. Um, so less mess express, you mm-hmm. have the, the laundry service and then the homework, uh, reorganization. Home yeah. Yeah. You got that's it. awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's what we any, do. any other services you think you're toying with down the road or no, that's keeping us plenty busy. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, we're yeah. good for right now. Yeah. 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 We have like some other things that we kind of, you know, beep up around, but want to do and nothing to nothing write to home say. about just yet. Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, I like your logo. Where, what's the story behind that? The So the story is Allie made the logo and I made the name. Okay. She came up with the name. Yeah, I came up with the name and Allie came up Which with the logo. Which everybody loves our name. Yeah. But I mean, everybody loves it's our logo too. It's trademarked too because everybody loves uh, our name. Oh, good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got nervous yeah. that every, we got way too many compliments on it. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's a great name. Less than the loads. It's like loads of, you know, less, loads, loads of laundry. Of laundry and right. then, but also like your, your, your um. Mental. It's a big, big pain point for people, like for sure. you know, Huge. during the week. So. I mean, honestly, like that is the reason we started the service. the The service was started because I could feel that mental load in my head. Like I felt that mom guilt, which I'm sure so many people can relate to, about like spending time with your kids versus you know getting all your household stuff done. Honestly, lesson loads. We just want to help people. That that is what it comes down to. Um, Make a difference. Yep. Yeah. We, we say all the time, like, we quit our corporate jobs to do other people's laundry. Like, it <laughs> sounds cr- We left six-figure jobs to do other people's laundry. It sounds crazy. People think we're nuts. They, they, they do. Yeah. But truly, we believe so much in what we're doing here and the impact that we're making and, you know, the client testimonials. I know we're in the right place and doing the right thing. Yeah. And I would also say would the beauty of, of owning a business is also being able to give to others in times of when, you know, they are struggling. That's, that's something we didn't even talk about is our gifted services that we mm. offer. So that's something that Allie and I have, you know, obviously we're passionate about our business and our team and, you know, our services, but we're also immensely passionate about our gifted services and providing, you know, a month of laundry service for someone who's going through a really rough time. So whether they've, you know, just lost their spouse or have a child going through chemo or, you know, anything under the sun that you can think of, they've, they had a fire in their home and they, you know, have been really terrible scenarios. Yeah. Hmm. But that's such, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Right. At the end of the day is we're able to do stuff like that. And just knowing that you're, you're truly taking a burden off of someone when it comes to, And I was going to say, like, when we set out to start the business, before we even could financially afford to gift services, we did. So, right, like, me and MC were both still working full-time jobs. Like, it it, it was more important for us to gift services to those who needed it Mm -hmm. than to, to, like, give ourselves that money. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, was not something our accountant would have recommended or (laughs) anything like that. But that's what I'm saying though. Like we feel so passionate about what we're doing and what we're bringing. It's so important that, and people are like, Oh, it's just laundry. Yeah. But for somebody who's traveling to chop every day to see their kid, who's going through chemo, they need clean clothes, right? Like to take that burden off of them. Sure. Man, that feels good. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I, yeah, I mean, I I do think that it's a good business practice, right? I mean, I think it. I believe in some of the woo woo stuff, and you put good stuff out there. For sure. Good, good for stuff sure. comes oh, yeah. out, and like oh, yeah. a lot of the free work that we've done, made videos for nonprofits and stuff like that, that has come back tenfold in terms of business. So. That's, um, that was we were talking yeah. about this the other day. We've gotten so much business from our gifted services was not in the plan. It was yeah. never the never. intention, and it's not why we did it ever. It's the way the world works, so right. really, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. That's awesome. Um, so what's how, how, how can people find you? What's your website and what are your socials? Lessonthelodes.com. Okay. Um, and our socials are just less than the loads. So you can find us at, I think, um, Instagram's lesson.the.loads. But okay. I'm sure if you just punch in less than the loads, we'll pop right up. And yeah. our logos, you know, yeah. wash it with the heart. Yep. Nice. And uh, pricing is, is all up on the website. Everything's there. Everything's there. People just fill out a form. Yeah, yeah. they want to get started. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank well, you Allie, so Mary much. Gavin, so nice Thank to meet you. you. Appreciate yeah, it. Good luck with everything with your business. Thank Thanks. you.
Thanks for listening today. Shoemaker Lab is an original production by Shoemaker Films, LLC. If you enjoyed today's content, please consider subscribing on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your content. Follow us on Instagram at shoemaker.films. If you're a business that's either interested in our video production services or would like to be a guest on the show, get in touch by using the contact form on our website, shoemakerfilms.com. Thank you.